Hi, Dr. P here to talk about the limitations of adapting a game system to games about other topics. A game system is a collection of rules, mechanics that characterize a game and that might be adapted to other games. So Dominion is a game system. So are Britannia, Diplomacy, Magic Gathering, D&D, D20, and many others. Now those are all tabletop games. In video games, we tend to have genres where the same techniques are used throughout. There are game systems in video games, but those systems are subsumed within the genres, and people don't talk much about them, and in fact, they tend to be used for sequels of the same game and not much else. Well, even trick-taking is a simple game system or mechanic. And at some point, single mechanics can characterize games. So many of these systems can be adapted to use in additional games. There are hundreds of Dominion-like games, which are usually called deck building as a more general name, because many of these games deviate far from Dominion itself, though still using the deck building mechanic. There are hundreds of diplomacy variants, including some that were published commercially, such as Machiavelli and one about colonizing whose name escapes me. Where do we draw the line? Because at some point, adapting a system to a different game or different subject, objective, whatever, won't work well. I don't know if I can generalize too much. It's a game by game question, but I can make a few observations. Adapting an abstract game to a real situation, even if the reality is only fictional, usually won't work. Reiner Knizia's Zombiegeddon is just his tile collecting game, Jager and Sammler, with zombies pasted on. So it's still about moving pieces, not about survival. Yuck! In a model, you expect what you do in the game and what the game causes to happen to correspond to the reality. Looking like zombies is not enough. I recall an inexperienced designer trying to adapt his extremely abstract prototype game to zombies at the behest of a publisher. I have to say, neither designer nor publisher had a clue. I think there was a level of contempt for fans of zombie games that contributed to their cluelessness. They didn't really understand what a zombie game is. This just isn't going to work. Or if you do it and publish it, you'll get laughed at. Now my game Britannia has been adapted many times, but designers sometimes lose track of how the system was made, what it is intended to represent. It represents the Dark Ages and Age of Migrations. Even in the game itself, the system breaks down as a representation at the end where we have the Norwegian and Norman invasions. I'd never use a system for the gunpowder era, era as in Maharaja at the end, and very, very definitely not for the 20th century as in the end of China and the Middle Kingdom. Both of those are Britannia-like games. But the system at that point is overriding the model. It doesn't model what you're trying to do at all well. Now, on the other hand, I've successfully adapted a freeform version of Britannia for a large-scale space war game. It's about waves of invasions. And the Britannia prototype was originally called Invasions of Britain. It's about waves of invasions. So there the modeling works, even though Doomfleets is a very different game for Britannia, despite the use of similar systems. On the other hand, I devised a diceless block game system for a space war game. It uses wooden blocks to uh, hide identity and capabilities. Well, for two years, I thought about adapting it to other situations, but I never got very far. But after licensing it, it's not yet published as I am speaking, I had a breakthrough. And there are now tested versions for China after the fall of a dynasty, World War II Eastern Front at, at a tactical or operational level, and World War II Mediterranean. And I may apply it to a stalled, short World War II in Europe game. So sometimes systems become quite versatile. 
What about abstract mechanics? A major reason why worker placement, which admittedly is a single mechanic, though it's often treated as a system, people often talk about worker placement games, is a reason why it works in so many games. They're all essentially abstract, regardless of what so-called theme has been tacked on. So the abstract mechanic works in the abstract game. But you're unlikely to see many games that are models of something that use worker placement, or if they do, they usually abandon the essential element of worker placement, which is blocking other people from being able to place their worker somewhere. In general, the more there is to the system mechanic, the better that it models something, then the less it can be used for everything under the sun. So if you're just talking about a single mechanic, it's more likely to be adaptable than is an entire system to a game that's a model. For abstract games, it's different. Hardcore hobbyists who like essentially abstract games tend to want innovative mechanics. They don't want to see people reusing mechanics. Yet popular mechanics like worker placement and drafting are used over and over again because most players aren't hardcore. People who like games that are models don't mind reuse of a system if the system models a variety of situations well. So adapt away, but consider how well or how poorly your system matches what you're trying to model. Thanks for listening.